Here we are at the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery at Queen's Square. The hospital's been here for 150 years. This is the biggest neurology and neurosurgery centre in the UK. We have 22 consultant neurosurgeons, over 100 neurologists, and as well as providing a local service to North Central London, we provide a specialist service to the whole of the country across all areas of specialisation of both neurology and neurosurgery, also neuropsychiatry. Last year we admitted over 11,000 inpatients to the hospital and saw over 120,000 patients in the outpatient clinic. The neurosurgical service at the National Hospital is now the largest in the United Kingdom. Uh, last year we operated on approximately 4,000 patients. We offer a very comprehensive service to all our patients uh, regardless of what their pathology is, be it a spinal problem, a problem with stroke or brain tumour, or problem with epilepsy. As a neurosurgical team we can really supply the, the specialist opinion and management that is, that is necessary for the patient. In our department we have state-of-the-art MR scanners. We have for the first time in this country an MR in a theatre. We are imaging the patients routinely like everywhere else but we're also using advanced imaging techniques such as functional imaging. Functional MR imaging shows you the areas in the brain that are used for instance for moving the hands or for speech. That's important for the surgeon so that he can see how close the tumour is to these important areas so that he can save them. We've hosted a hyperacute stroke unit here for the past few years and we see over 2,000 patients a year. The absolute maximum is to get people in as soon as possible and to investigate and treat as necessary. We have lowered the mortality following stroke to less than half the national average and we've also doubled the amount of clot busting treatment that we're able to give. The next step from here can either be to go directly home with support in the community as necessary, or if needs are more complex, we may refer to a dedicated inpatient rehabilitation unit, uh, including our complex specialised unit here at the National Hospital. Okay, well done. And the last one is your hand to your mouth. The Therapies and Rehabilitation Department here at Queen Square delivers both inpatient and outpatient highly specialised uh, rehabilitation services to people with complex neurological impairment. Neurorehabilitation is really based on the multidisciplinary delivery of care. So our team comprises of consultant neurologists, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, speech and language therapists and a psychologist, as well as the nursing um, staff on the unit who are specialised in delivering rehabilitation. A key part of our mission is training and education. Every year the UCR medical students learn their neurology and neurosurgery here at this hospital. We also have many postgraduates who come from all over the world for extended periods of specialist training. I do my PhD in a lab where I sit with five or six of the world's great neuroscientists on the floor above me. It's a sort of slightly humbling experience but also one which one can learn from. At this hospital we're not standing still. We have ambitious plans for continuing the development of new facilities, new wards and being able to provide for the people the latest research advances that are being developed right here in the hospital. <laughs>